Hey there, and welcome to A Little Market Insight. I'm your host, Justin Little, and I'm absolutely delighted to have you join me for an exciting journey into the captivating world of real estate. Today, I'm on the road with Kim Bouchard, where we will be talking all about interior design trends. I'm also going to be sitting down with Tanya Castle and Guida from Mission 35 Mortgages to talk all about mortgage renewals and mortgage pre-approvals. But first, I'm joined by Vince Vaccarello from Trapempco Insurance Group to discuss what you need to know when it comes to everything home insurance. Vince, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, absolutely, Justin. I Thanks appreciate for having it. Me. Yeah, yeah of course, this it. is a topic that I think um, sometimes gets overlooked in the process when people are buying or selling real estate. It's always kind of the last thing. Like you get the call from your lawyer a week before, oh, by the way, we need your insurance documents. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people are like, oh, I didn't even know what I had to do, right? And uh, things are always changing with it. So I know that there's been some major changes uh, mm-hmm. in the world of home insurance since COVID. Uh, is that something you want to touch on a little bit? To yeah, talk absolutely. To? That's uh, that's been a big challenge um, since COVID, and uh, the reason being is uh, individuals aren't paying enough attention to their policy limits. Uh, that's a big challenge that we're having because back then you purchased your home for let's say five hundred thousand dollars. Five years down the road, since COVID had happened, uh, now it's going to cost you you know eight nine hundred thousand to rebuild based on the cost of construction. So that has been. Uh, a big challenge because those limits now are, are are not to value, and you have to make sure that uh, that you insure to value. That's so. a huge thing, right? Especially people that bought like 2018, 2019. Yeah. Like you said, they bought it for cheap. Now the cost of everything has skyrocketed. Has skyrocketed. Yeah. Like even when we're looking at new construction properties, the price is so much higher than resale now, just because yeah. that cost of construction. You know, that's something yeah. that I never considered that you should check in with your insurance company to say, hey, am I still covered? So you're saying that basically if you have that coverage for 500 and something happens, but you know, it would cost 800 to rebuild, like what happens in that scenario if you're not? So certain certain insurance companies offer, uh, every insurance company is different in terms of what their policy wordings read, et cetera, et cetera. But um, uh, there's a clause in in policies that's uh, that's stated as guaranteed replacement cost. So if you insure your Built your building limit, your dwelling limit, your home for let's say five five hundred thousand dollars. If you insure that property for five hundred thousand dollars and you have that clause, the guaranteed replacement cost on there, you will get that for five hundred thousand dollars. But if not, some companies, as I was saying, have a co-insurance clause. Each company is different, and you need to be within ninety percent to value of the co-insurance clause. Because if you're not, then you could be hit with severe penalties if you're not insured to within the ninety percent. So then what happens, say, like, you don't have the coverage, you're not within that 90%, like, are you just You get kinda... penalized, so not only do you, in the event of any type of loss, of a okay. flood, a fire, uh, any type of loss, whether it's partial or full, you're still penalized. So you may think, hey, um, I've got $500,000 on my house, it cost me $800,000, it, it, it's going to cost today 800000 to rebuild, and because you're not within the 90%, you'll get hit with a with a penalty but like I was saying if you have the guaranteed replacement cost this is why it's important to have discussions with your advisors because you want to make sure that you have that guaranteed replacement cost in there because if you do whatever your policy limit is you will get paid out on see so and that's too like an important thing with an advisor like you mentioned instead of just doing it on a yeah. website going into an insurance right actually having somebody talk you through it yeah insurance is extremely complicated uh, because there's so many different factors that need to be taken into consideration um, you know from water damage to like I was saying building um, you know and a lot of insurance companies especially um, when you do it online they they have sublimits right and the sublimits are not even close to uh, what what the value is in terms of insurance that you would need uh, on on your home, right? So an advisor is there to have that discussion with you and to provide you those details because that's when you thoroughly understand. So you may say, you know, you may be able to go online, get an insurance quote for your house without speaking to anybody for $900, let's just say for the sake of easy numbers. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's that $900 is kind of like a get, you get what you pay for. You may realize, hey, you don't have a proper sewer backup limit. You don't have a proper water, uh, water limit. And these are all challenges that, um, that, that, you face or the average home buyer faces when they're they're not thoroughly understanding policies mm. insurance is extremely complicated so that's why the importance of having an advisor uh, helps because they will thoroughly go through that with you and explain that to you and um, like I said so many different factors yeah, of coverage a lot of intricacies to it yeah. right 
Taking and then when you were talking, I just want to loop back to the one thing you mentioned about paying a penalty. Say that your value isn't, say that you have yeah. their place, but you're not up there. Is it a penalty? Are you basically paying the difference that it's not covering, or is it just a small? So how how it works is uh, it's it's a did uh, it's what should you have insured your home for to what uh, to what you did insure your home for. Um, times the the amount of the loss and that's that's the co-insurance component that that uh, that could come into play now that's more so on the commercial side when you're dealing with commercial buildings what like I said earlier what mitigates that is the clause of the guaranteed replacement cost mm, so okay that makes sense yeah, yeah. Um, and then you you mentioned uh, water and then I know we were talking previously before this about how the actual when you're insuring against water damage to your house, there's actually different types of insurance you should be getting because the water, it covers different ways that the water damages the house. Yeah, so it's not just like a general, oh, I have insurance against water damage. Yeah, Can absolutely. you talk about that and clarify yeah, that? Ab absolutely. So um, depending on how the water enters your home, um, is there's different classifications for it. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, um, you know, every insurance company is different on how they classify things. But the main ones are, you know, the sewer backup obviously is a huge one. Um, so that's essentially when water comes or, or sewer backup comes up from, from the ground up through the toilet and creates damages. So that's the sewer backup component. If, you know, a pipe freezes and breaks, uh, that's considered and classified as water damage. Uh, and then there's the overland water component where let's say there's, um, you know, water rushes in from windows on, uh, you know, on a, uh, a base, a lower level uh, unit and then creates damage that way. Those are, uh, those are all examples of different coverages. Now, the tricky thing to, to consider is that every, every line of that cover or every type of those coverages has, could have a certain limit and uh, a policy limit and could also have a certain deductible limit. So, you know, your water damage, your sewer backup could be, you know, a thousand dollar, a thousand dollar deductible, mm -hmm. whereas your, um, your overland water could be a $2,500 deductible. So it's important to understand uh, the way water's enter, what water enters into your home. Um, so that way you can disclose and get the proper coverage on there. And those are, those need to be discussed as well, going back to the importance of an advisor mm -hmm. where they can explain to you what your deductibles and what your your limits are because a lot of times it's overlooked. Yeah, and that's and just tying it all together, like I know you told that story about how wind blew a door open and then water got in. I know we only got about like a minute left, but can you just yeah. tell that story quickly? Because it's, it's yeah, I think, an interesting one. Absolutely. So uh, insurance is based on proximate cause. Um, so in a, in a situation, I had a client recently that had a claim uh, based on the window, uh, the, the sliding door blowing open uh, in, a, in a winter storm, froze the pipes, pipes burst, created water damage, flooded the entire, the entire home. Now, uh, when they had the initial call with the adjusting firm, they had mentioned that water had flooded their house. There was a massive $25,000 deductible on that. The, the, the amount of the loss was $100,000. And um, what had happened was when they called me to explain their conversation with the adjuster, I was able to revert back and say, hey, listen, um, you know, at the end of the day, this wasn't just a pipe burst and water damage. The proximate cause of the situation was the fact that the pipe froze, uh, sorry, was the fact that the wind blew the sliding door open, which created the pipe to freeze, which then created the pipe to burst and the water damage. So the proximate cause in this circumstance was wind. Mm. So wind was the peril that created the, the, the damage and then that deductible then went from 25,000 to 5,000. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. See, that's the importance of of an using somebody, right? Like you're going Absolutely. on a website, you're not going to know that or do that. You're just going to deal with the situation and probably pay the $25,000 deductible. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And if that advice wasn't there, the average homeowner that doesn't understand insurance won't be able to yeah. catch that or understand that, right? They're sitting there stuck with a $25,000 thousand dollar deductible on a hundred thousand dollar loss yeah and that's the last thing you want so that's awesome vince yeah. thank you so much for coming on today i appreciate it this was super informative yeah i appreciate you inviting me and uh being on your show and hopefully uh hopefully yeah it works it's gonna out. be good i'm yeah. looking forward to it absolutely up next we are going to be on location with kim bouchard where we are going to be talking all about interior design trends.